So here is our blender. Here I remove everything by pressing A and delete. Okay, I will just make you here the shortcut will appear like that and I will make file import and we'll find the obg that photoscan did export so I will go there and go to export and select that one okay I click on it and I wait a little so uh, you will find the link uh, into the um, into the links of the video that I will uh, give you to put a link to the images I did shoot. Okay, so here we have our object. As you can see, it's not really in the center and everything, so we will manage that first. Uh, first of all, we will just select it, right click and then they are set an origin to geometry like this the origin is here then to rg then gz okay maybe do a little rotation into like that okay okay it sounds good for me then after I just do control a location like this I will have this point here it's perfect like this I put it on the ground directly it's easy so control a location control a rotation and scale like this it avoids some problem so first of all we will go into edit mode with tab and then deselect everything select the linked vertices by R pressing R and you can see that we have all the body of the rock but some little parts here and there are not inside it's because they are not, not linked to not linked to each other so what I do I do control Y like this like this I can select only that and remove the vertices of it okay then I will do to continue to clean it I will do control shift alt M so it select non manifold vertices and uh, what I have here if I try to press for example F to make a big face it will make nothing first because uh, if you look at it maybe I will find a part like this yeah if you look at it here you can see that the selection may gives already some faces and these faces are not good to make another face and blender will not understand it because of that so with this selection like this you will just remove but only the faces and then control R shift M again to have this selection again but without the faces this time and now if you press F it will make what we need is to close the geometry there because we will rebuild all this part so that's it for this part and we will go now in object mode and see what we got so now what we would like is to clean everything there and put um, the same topology, the same density of topology. We don't want a big face here and some little, little faces. We want little faces everywhere. We will rebuild everything there. So for that, we will duplicate our object. We just do Shift D, okay, and put it into the second layer. And it's on the second layer that we will work. And we will go into edit mode, into sculpt mode, sorry. And we will remove the symmetry activate dynamic topology okay and put the dynamic topology into constant detail like this I can just choose here a place that seems good like this and I will can paint now with maybe the clay here and a very very low uh, 
influence here like that I can just go through this easily and I will paint all the border like that scoot there and you can see the little faces are, are coming and it's exactly what we want and until you have the border after you can increase the size of the brush to go everywhere like that so the goal is to not touch the origin geometry of it because we will need it but all this part has to be well okay and now we can go through and put some and put some smooth into so I just use shift click here to smooth it and yeah I think it comes better okay so what, what we can do too is to make it a little more natural and to make it like um, even if this part will not be always uh, in front of us but we can work to make it uh, at least more natural than that and uh, what we will do for that is to use a texture but first of all we will use a clay strip just to remove some geometry like that and go it go go through it with no fear you can make big things or little things it's just to give some randomness into the geometry here okay good and just move it again a little and with this geometry we can now go through and use a texture and this texture we will go into this website CG bookcase here and we will have here uh, some very good texture sets that we can find uh, these textures will be like that so you will have uh, ambient occlusion color and height and not even normal but this is height that we will use for this uh, tutorial so what we do is we go into our sculpt draw and you we will use a view plane an area plane it's good okay we will add front face only we will remove dynamic topology okay we will use a stroke with anchor and we will use a texture so I will go there and do a new texture this texture I will find it here the brush texture here and I will open now into my textures here that I did just download the height value here and now I will find it there and if I keep it with the option like that normally it makes a good job a little too much maybe so maybe 0 0.3 it's enough okay just to add some randomness and some value that will tell okay this part too it's a rock okay and now we have our mesh that is cleaned and ready to be used for retopology okay so this mesh now I will export it and we will can use it uh, for the next step that will be retopology with in instant mesh okay this is the next step and now we will make an automatic retopology so we could do that in blender but uh, there are simple tools that you can use like the, let's say for example uh, the remesh modifier here with 
uh, smooth here and maybe three okay maybe decrease a little the scale I guess it will be more interesting maybe 0 0.5 okay Oof, no 0 0.8 it's okay but what we can see with this option is that okay it makes a kind of retopology everything is quads and it's not that bad but uh, if we look at it more uh, you can see that the direction of the lines of the topology are not really they, they don't suit really uh, the lines of the object itself it's just like perpendicular lines like that and like that and that's it but it's not really uh, it's not really usable to make a line like that here for example or maybe a line like that you can see here it's like kind of steps that will not work really when you want a good retopology so here uh, we will let's say we'll keep it like that for the moment and uh, I will just duplicate it and put it in the third layer here and this one the one in the second layer and this one we will export it and use a tool that maybe you don't know it's instant mesh and it's very good to uh, make uh, instant retopology like that very easily so let's export that file export web from okay you just say selection only to export only your selection you go to your export files and you call it rock clean okay so I, I don't do it because I made it before already so I just may cancel but it's exactly that then after I will go to instant mesh and open my mesh okay the clean one and open it like that I wait a little and we can find now our mesh here directly in the viewport so to navigate you zoom with the with the with the wheel and then the left click you turn around and the right click you move okay so basically you just have to set your number of vertex that you need in the end okay and make a saw what it will make it show you the direction of the topology uh, of what will topo the topology will be after so you can see that forms for some parts it will be good you see the lines here follow well this place but for some other parts it will be maybe less good for example this line has to be there this line has to be there too so what you can do is help him by clicking these two and put for example a stroke like that to say hey I want the topology like this and the software does a job I like this software when you want to navigate again you come here okay then here it sounds not bad here for example maybe we we could do a little better so what we can do is to just make a line like that okay let's say for example and you can see that now everything is better so be careful because if you change the line sometimes this line too will change so you will have to come back to it and to make to tell the software that he has to compute again but it's really intuitive way to make it so here it follows here it follows here it's not that bad okay let's say for now I'm happy with the result but you can still help him if you need but for me for me uh, for me here I'm happy but you understand the process when you see that the lines don't follow the geometry you just take these two and say to it okay it's there I want it but for now it makes quite a good job so I keep it like that and when you have when you are happy with the 
direction of the lines now you can just solve here and it will show you um, the directions of the topology more precisely now into the high poly mesh and after you can just go there and go to extract mesh okay and now you have your low poly ready to use with a good topology some little triangles somewhere but not a lot and uh, really is a topology that follow well uh, the original geometry of the mesh okay and now what we have to do is to just save and we will export it as rock low okay and save it I just do it I just don't do it because it's already done for me but it's really what you have to do here okay you can choose less vertex count if you want but if you want to use less vertex count, like for example 400 you have to solve again there okay and then after to extract mesh again and it will make something more low poly so even for video games or things like that even 100 poly can work solve okay extract mesh and you have your mesh ready to export okay so that's it for this part very very good tool if you want to use it i really rec recommend you to go i will make you a, li a link into the video links and for the next part and the last part we will go into blender again okay here is the last step and now what we want to do is to use the low poly and to bake everything from the high poly to the low poly so for that we will just file import we will find our rock low here import obj and you can see everything is good with that i like it so now with this selected we will just put it into the fourth layer and you can see the difference between this and the one that we did use remesh here so the big difference is that everything is following up the lines there okay you can see here the lines are perfect but there it doesn't work that well okay so this is a good topology this is a less good topology for that it will work huh? I don't say it, it will not work but if you want more professional result maybe this will be better okay so I just remove this object because we will not use it again and I will put it this I will put this one in the third and we will go to edit mode just to clean up a little what we have so by selecting everything you can see sometimes some little parts like here for example that uh, some vertices cross each other and you have to rebuild the face so here what I just do is just I select this geometry here I just remove the vertice and then remake a face again to replace it so I check all my mesh like that and you can see that there are some blue lines it's strange we are not used we are not used to see this in blender and it's not really uh, what we see usually in edit mode and it comes from uh, edge crease so for that you just do ctrl e with everything selected here ctrl e and clear not clear not clear seam but clear sharp okay and when everything is done we can start to unwrap it so to unwrap it it's not really complicated we will just make a straight line that will cross almost everything so let's say from here and with just control right click I just continue my line like that and it will cross until let's say let's say here okay and we will make a cross like this so we will take another one by shift right click and then control right click maybe we go on the top 
to follow a little here and we continue here okay and we join there good now I select this and Control E mark same this time and I go into UV editor there I select everything and normally it should work to make a good umbra what is that here let's have a look where it comes from there is something haha -ha, yeah that's true we made a little mistake so what we can do here is to select this and control E clear sim okay and reselect everything again and unwrap it again okay and now it will be good if you want you can uh, just by rotate with R and G and R and S scale a little this to have something better and then after you just go into here another editor and we will can start to bake the textures for that uh, we will not use cycles render actually cycles render has good options for baking but uh, it's very slow I don't like it too much and I really uh, I really prefer blender render it's really uh, more efficient for that especially if you want to do quick so what I do I, I just go into blender render and I choose my high poly mesh layer and my low poly mesh layer and I enable both I will choose my high poly then my low poly here okay um, by both sele select them and I will go into my here bake options so I go in edit mode and I will create a new texture this texture will be a normal map okay let's say normal and 2048 will be enough especially if it's, if it's for assets it's not really usable to, uh, to put 496 so I just create that okay you just have to be in edit mode here and to have everything selected good now you go into the bake option and you choose normals you just say select it to active it tells that from the low poly, from the high poly to the low poly and let's go for baking you wait a little you pray and look at that you have a very beautiful huh? it's not that good this perfect okay we just have to save it so we say save as image and I will use another directory so I will put my normal map here and save as normal map okay and uh, what we can do is to save to the textures and for that you just verify that in texture mode you will it will appear it will appear into the high poly so everything is there it's good but we have to enable it into the material of the high poly so I select the high poly only if it wants okay so the high poly here I select and I just remove node here node editor to can enable the blender render material I have this by default and then I just put shell less here and then come back into my original selection so my high poly first and my low poly both selected low poly in yellow high poly in orange and let's go for now textures and let's, let's bake that we will create another texture there so we we'll remove that one create a new one this one we will call it color 
like it says okay 2048 it's good and then just bake it again so I just verify that normally it should work properly so what I like in Blender render for baking it's really that it's fast and far more faster than others than cycles for example okay we have here don't worry if if, if here it's great it's that when we did recreate uh, geometry here it's normal it became gray okay here it's just because there is no texture on it but we will uh, we will try to make it right in the next step so when we have this we just make image save as image color save as image and we are happy with that let's go back to our cycles render and enable the low poly mesh so now what we have to do is to um, build a little more this texture here so you could take for photoshop for example and take some uh, some of this uh, part here and for example replace it but we will use it directly in 3d we will make it into blender in texture painting we will use the image slot here and we will use the color so here is our color texture looks nice but some little parts here are not good and especially all the lower part here we have to rebuild that so what we will do we will use tools clone and put it into one okay and just what the by control click here you can see I have the cursor there it means that I will copy all of that with my next stroke so I will with F I will increase the size of my brush and then I will just do like that okay and we will do it again maybe with this part okay it sounds not bad for the beginning here you have some black areas maybe just click on it and there it will help a little okay good and then for everything there we do the same select here and then come back here and do a big stroke like that okay we'll have already we'll make the same there big stroke here same here with that okay good starts to be already better now we'll take maybe this and make a big stroke there in the middle then this and a big stroke there again and we will have a decent texture okay just something usable anyway it's just uh, it's not mandatory to do that it's just if you want to have a perfect uh, mesh you can do that I will do it we not too much clicks maybe there okay would be better good and we will stop there so let's say we are happy like this we select here our texture and say save as image same color save as image it's good now we are happy with everything we can start to use our shader for that I will use easy HDRI I really recommend you this add-on if you don't know it it's really easy you just select a folder of your HDRI accept it and then maybe just go a little for filmic to have a better look okay good and now let's create our shader and it will be the end of the process a new shader we will call it rock low because we always re rename our materials we make the job well 
okay and now shift a shader principal shader we go into rendered view here so for the moment I have only that I will just put my color texture there and select my normal and put my normal texture there I will just shift a do uh, put here a vector normal map plug the color to color and the normal to normal and we'll use here the non-color data okay here it's, it's already it already looks very good and here we will make a color to color okay and everything appears well we are almost happy with the result we will just remove a little specular maybe to have not too much uh, reflections on it and maybe just add for example a color RGB curves if you want for example for example if you want it a little darker okay it will work well a little lighter it will work well too or if you want more contrast you can do something like that and that's it for the rock and this asset creation so it takes a little time to make it but uh, in the end in the end of the process you have something really usable to make uh, something realistic in your scenes so that's it for this tutorial let's see us soon guys <laughs>